Harry, is there anything wrong with putting yourself under a bit of pressure going out on Christmas Eve or even the 23rd, which seems like a lot of time, if you ask me, uh, to buy your presents? No, nothing wrong at all. For starters, there are more bargains on the high street. You'll get a better deal. The sales start on Christmas Eve nowadays rather than on Boxing Day. And also the crowds are a bit less hectic on Christmas Eve itself rather than, you know, kind of the weekend before. I don't think there's anything wrong at all. Yeah, but of course it, it's Sunday, isn't it, this year? So we've got those earlier shop closures, even more pressure. Late opening and... Oh, absolutely, mm -hmm. there's the online shopping. Start. There are a handful of online shopping outlets who will now promise to deliver your goods before the big day as late. I mean, Amazon are offering, admittedly if you're an Amazon Prime member, up till 9.45 p.m. on Christmas Eve itself, you can order Christmas presents. And they'll, 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 and they'll get it to you in the next couple of hours. Oh, I'm not even going to have to go to the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. I can that. stay in the pub and do it all on my phone. Perfect. Oh, Everyone's happy. No Nadia one is, needs to know. Nadia is not looking impressed at that. I'm just thinking, Nadia, yeah, never mind <sighs> the convenience of all of this. Why is the relationship and the love in it? What does it say about your beloved well, if first they of sit all, in the pub at 9.45 and order a present? <laughs> first of all, Cupid called. He would like his Mr Romance of 2017 award back. <laughs> <laughs> not. Um, it's just lazy. It's lazy. Listen, at the end of the day, you know, we, it's not like it comes up as a surprise. We have 364 days to plan and nobody is that busy. You can go out it and you can... It does kind of sneak up on us. <laughs> it does not. Does. Yes, it does. <laughs> it really it does. does. Yeah, men say it does. Women say it doesn't. Nobody is so busy that they have to wait till Christmas Eve to buy the one they profess to love a... Gammy so, old so present, the so last so things so on the shelf. We then, should we, if you are saying that we, it's because we don't love our partners enough, should we not give them anything throughout the year because we buy things throughout the year and then save it all up and then say, I could bought this back in February, but I wasn't allowed to give it to you because Nadia said I had to wait till Christmas because that shows how much I love you. No, but it, obviously you give presents throughout the year. Yes, yeah, so why does it matter? Wait... Why does it have to be bought before the new Listen, Christmas Eve? Ultimately, we, I like a list. And if you leave it to the last minute, the chances of getting what I need on that list mm. are slim to none. But a list so isn't therefore, very romantic. Yeah, it is, because I'm giving you a list of stuff that I really want and need. I don't want any more body creams, buy two, get one free, and I've got the freebie. That's what you're going to be left with. <laughs> I don't want that. That's not you romantic. You just made me feel slightly awkward. <laughs> you don't, you don't <laughs> <want> <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 windscreen wipers really from look, petrol station? One of the things you know, that can happen, happen can't it, is maybe... Uh, partners think, I just don't know what to get them, I don't know what to get them, and go out in a total panic, and then I wonder if you end up overspending, and you end up giving a very expensive gift to someone that doesn't feel like they particularly want it, you're just in a panic. There is certainly that aspect, mm. and I have fallen prey to, oh my God, I haven't got it, I'll have to get it, even if I know the size doesn't fit or whatever. But the option is you, you sit online, or in the pub now, on your smartphone, mm. and you order, there are all sorts of really good presents you can buy online that don't actually have to be delivered, like be it vouchers or Romantic nights away, or now the... you're talking my language. Okay, and there's also really course, so we can do that the night before on the phone in the pub. No, because you, well, well, first you of all, you shouldn't be on the phone in the pub the night before, and you should be what? thinking about where she wants to go. <laughs> but it's I about am effort. thinking about where she wants to go. In oh, relationship, I think second. you've hit so, the nail on the head. It's it about doesn't effort. Feel like trying. You have That's two things that like. have leverage in a relationship: time <sighs> and money. Either you shower me with your presence, or shower me with presents. You are have taken it, aren't you? That's exactly oh, why, why yeah, not? That's no, I, don't, I don't see what's wrong with sitting on my phone or on a laptop and buying a subscription gift, which are very popular this Christmas, you know, be it for gin or coffee or beauty products, and I print off that essentially, mm. here's your subscription gift, I slip it into a card and go, here's your present, and then your, your present will start arriving in January, you know, be it a fresh bag of coffee or beauty cream every month. But just because I sat down at 3pm on <clears throat> Christmas Eve and did it and printed it off on the slightly dodgy home computer, I don't think that's so awful. Do you know, we get, we get blamed all the time, Harry, uh, often in relationships, for not being efficient enough, for faffing about and not doing it. Suddenly we're trying to be efficient. We're building the entire year around making sure we shop within a half an hour window. And I think that's something that we should be praised for. Praised? Not criticised for. Praised for mediocre behaviour. But it's Last but, but minute, no are, effort. And yet mediocre if we are still men delivering, Nadia, if I'm still delivering the presents on not, your list, your oh-so-romantic list, you can't get me the presents list on my list because the presents on my list take time oh, and see. effort oh. so it's and organisation. Mm. Is it a test, mm. then? No, but mm. it's stuff that I want. And you can't go down at 3.30 and buy things that I genuinely want because I save things. I can buy anything I want. 
you know, we are adults, we can buy anything we need. So I save things and specifically don't are buy the them. So my friends and family have stuff. No, are the presents that mean more to you, the ones that you've put on the list, or the little magical ones that uh, maybe you hadn't thought the about. The screen wash. The little exciting mm. ones, yes, you know, the carnations mm. that perhaps you didn't realise you loved. Mm. <laughs> but are they the ones that might have come but a moment of inspiration, as Harry's saying, and he's looking on his yeah. phone and he's going, I know, she'll love this. And you a weren't moment of inspiration the one you or a moment expecting. of panic? The one it's 3.30 on Christmas Eve. We work so much better there under pressure. Anxiety. Yeah. There is anxiety. I know where you panic. can get, Annie. You can get her a sainthood. <laughs> that would suit her perfectly She's for putting up with you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ben Shepherd love tokens. You know, that's, that's what... They, they are, are big for this year, Harry. <laughs> Christmas present in demand.